U.S. homes have huge solar potential. Google launched a project called Project Sunroof in 2015, which measures the solar potential of individual homes in the U.S. The results showed that most U.S. homes have great solar viability. Google says 79% of all U.S. rooftops are solar viable, which means four out of every five homes have enough unshaded area for solar panels to be installed. The result was calculated using 3D modeling of the homes and nearby trees to determine the amount of sunlight and shade the roof receives. In Hawaii, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico, more than 90% of the homes are solar viable, while in Pennsylvania, Maine, and Minnesota, only over 60% are viable. The project began in Boston, Fresno, and the San Francisco Bay Area. It has since expanded to every U.S. state, with about 60 million buildings across the country having been analyzed. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Interested in solar power? Stay right there. Tesla gets into the home energy game. Tesla has unveiled a solar roof product that doesn't distract from the aesthetics of a home, as they look just like ordinary tiles. Each Tesla roof tile is made up of a solar cell, quartz glass, and a color louver film that makes it appear opaque from an angle. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the tiles have 98% of the efficiency of traditional solar panels. However, the tiles have the potential to go above normal efficiency if improved coatings can trap light inside to reduce loss of energy. Tesla sees the solar roofs working in tandem with its Powerwall battery unit to provide energy for homes and its electric vehicles. Tesla unveiled four types of solar tile during a launch event at the Desperate Housewives set at Universal Studios last Friday. The tiles will be available next year through SolarCity, a solar installation company chaired by Elon Musk, which he's trying to merge with Tesla. Musk didn't reveal any specific prices, but said the Tesla panels would cost less than the full cost of a roof, with the added benefit of being able to generate electricity. Quantum dot coating can turn windows into solar panels. Researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico have developed a film of quantum dots that can turn windows into photovoltaic systems. When sunlight hits conventional silicon solar panels, electrons break free of the top layer of semiconducting material. The electrons then follow conductors between the positive and negative sides of the panel to generate an electrical current. Quantum dots, which have an inner core, an outer shell, and a silica coat, can be used as semiconductors. Quantum dots can be spread into thin sheets that are placed onto glass window panes. When photons from sunlight hit a quantum dot, it excites the electron in the valence band and sends it into the conduction band, leaving a hole behind. When the electron recombines with the hole in the valence band, a new photon with lower energy is generated. This new photon then propagates within the glass via internal reflections. Energy is generated when the propagating photons reach the window's frame, where solar cells are stored. Coatings of quantum dots can be used on any window to turn them into harvesters of sunlight at lower cost than is currently available. Los Alamos-based startup Ubiquitous Quantum Dots has received a $225,000 grant from the National Science Foundation to commercialize this technology as a coating on windows. France to install 600 miles of solar roads within five years. The French Minister of Ecology and Energy, Sangoline Royale, is pushing forward with plans to install solar roads across the country. The solar roads will be built by gluing solar panel tiles onto road surfaces. The tiles are 7 millimeters thick, with a thin film of polycrystalline silicon to collect solar energy. The tiles will be applied to 600 miles of already existing roads in France. The solar panels are built to withstand the forces generated by all types of vehicles, including trucks. The energy produced is expected to be able to power streetlights, homes, office buildings, and light rail. Once implemented, the solar roads could supply enough energy for an estimated 5 million citizens in France. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Rain or shine, future solar panels may be able to generate power. 
scientists in China are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source you'd expect when we're talking about solar energy, rainwater. In a typical solar panel, photons from a light source knock electrons free from atoms within the panel, and the action generates a flow of electricity. Although solar power technology has been getting increasingly efficient, there's still the tiny problem that solar cells can't produce any power when it's raining. Researchers are introducing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene or carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb structure to dye sensitized solar cells. A flexible layer of indium-10 oxide and plastic is included underneath. Graphene has unusual properties that allow electrons to move freely throughout the entire layer. Rainwater contains positively charged ions like ammonium, calcium, and sodium. When water binds to the panel surface, a double layer of positive ions and negatively charged electrons is created, which ends up producing a voltage and current. Tests of the new solar panels have been able to produce hundreds of microvolts, which is small even compared to a standard AA battery. So there's a long way to go before the new solar panels become more widely used, but more efficient future versions could mean big things for the solar industry.